Well, right now, all eyes on Arizona, where there's still no declared winner in the governor's race nearly a week after the election. And it is close. We are expecting an update from Maricopa County officials within the next hour. This is a live look there right now, and we'll bring that to you right here on Rush Hour. Meantime, our partners at Decision Desk HQ say Democrat Katie Hobbs has a slight lead over Republican candidate Carrie Lake by just one percentage point. Correspondent Robert Sherman is live in Arizona, and Robert, another ballot drop tonight could tell us a lot. And it's going to be a big one, Nicole. I mean, this is really the ball game here tonight. The unofficial guidance we've received is that we're going to get the last of those mail ballot drop-offs from Election Day coming out tonight. Uh, we do want to show you a live look inside the tabulation room. This is kind of what we're looking at here. You're looking at about 85,000 to 95,000 votes still outstanding here in Maricopa County. You look at the whole state of Arizona, it's about 160, 170,000 votes still left to be counted here. Uh, here's the deal, though, Nicole. Uh, Kate, uh, Carrie Lake's folks have been saying that they're going to win these Election Day drop-offs by margins of 2 to 1, 3 to 1. That's not happening here. Yeah, Carrie Lake has won the last couple ballot drops out of Maricopa County by slim margins. Put simply, that's mathematically not good enough. She's trailing by 25,000 votes here, and the Cary Lake folks have not been hitting the margin that they've been expecting to hit here with these drop-offs coming in day by day. Uh, so that's going to be something key that we're going to be looking at here tonight. Frankly, this has got to be a heavy Republican batch tonight coming out of Maricopa County in order for her to stay in the ball game. We have heard from the former president, Donald Trump, who took to Truth Social today, calling this a, quote, very sad thing to watch, later adding that our elections have become an unreliable joke and that the whole world is watching. Again, emphasizing from election officials, they say, there hasn't been any mischief here. They have not been seeing uh, anything nefarious going on here. The reason that this has been taking so long to count all these votes, Arizona state law. Arizonans are allowed to drop off mail-in ballots on Election Day, and it takes days in order to go through the process of signature verification and things like that. So if you look at the numbers, Nicole, Carrie Lake has to win about 56% of all the votes that are outstanding here in Arizona. And there are some counties where she's going to hit those margins, one to keep an eye on, though, is Pima County. That's Tucson, Arizona. The last couple of drops, Democrats have been winning those batches. That really means the stakes are going to be especially high here in Maricopa County when we get those drops in just a short while. All Nicole. right. Robert, we'll be checking back in with you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.